<laughs> Pretend like you didn't just see that. I am so annoyed. Ooh. Ooh, this is creamy. Ooh. Oh, I think I took too much. <sighs> Ooh, I took too much. This has taken a very different turn. Jesus, Lamb of God. Oh! <laughs> What up, it's your girl, Minadavia. In this video, we are going to be trying out a whole bunch of new products. Some are existing, some are new, and I'm gonna chit chat with you through all of it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Just so you know, I post three times a week here on YouTube, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Starting off with a very hydrated, dewy looking face because skincare is always important no matter what finish you wanna have with your makeup. Now, I'm gonna do my lip primer, which is gonna be the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lock On Lip Primer. I know, I'm finishing all of these. If you know me, you already know that when I love something, I stock up on it, and I stocked up on these, and they're discontinued. My lips feel so dry. One thing I can say is, this lip primer is not here to hydrate my lips. So it is very important to make sure that overnight through the day, you're wearing a very occlusive, hydrating, moisturizing lip product of some sort before you put on a lip primer like this because it makes the lips tacky. It's not here to necessarily hydrate. It's here to make sure that whatever lip product you put on top is going to stay and not look peely and caked up and just nasty. Now the foundation I have in front of me right here is the Lancome Tanti Zoll Ultra Wear 24 Hour transfer resistant wear and comfort my god today all these names we have discussed this this is the matte one there is a glow one that i got recently but i don't feel like glowing today necessarily if you want to see me do a wear test with that product comment and let me know and the shade i wear is 555 suede c back of the hand here we go i like to apply my foundation with a flat brush this is a sigma blending brush I'm gonna link all the products that I use. Oh, oh my God, I'm so annoyed. I forgot I wanted to prime my face with powder. Okay, we're gonna do this now. Mm -hmm. Pretend like you didn't just see that. I am so annoyed. I'm in autopilot and I just forgot. Okay, I'm gonna use the translucent honey powder from Laura Mercier. I've been using in my bathroom, which I have a different stash, the translucent straight up one from Laura Mercier, but it's in the bathroom. This one I have here is honey and it's fine. It's not gonna make my face yellow. Oh my gosh. So let's mattify my T-zone, which is where I find gets oily in a way that I don't like. I love for other parts of my face to get naturally oily because it just looks naturally good. But in the T-zone, I don't want that. So here we go and I'm avoiding where I have the foundation. I'm so annoyed. The good thing is I begin the foundation on my cheeks and that is not a concern for me for oiliness. So it's all good. It really, really is all good. <laughs> now I am gonna mattify my eye and my brow because I've been loving the brow looking matte. I don't need my eyebrows looking greasy because you see, it can give you an issue when applying your brow product. And then I just don't like it when it's oily through the day. What you could do is now spray the Urban Decay Ultra Matte Setting Spray on your face. It has clay in it, so it is going to look a little white, but don't be alarmed because you're gonna put your foundation on top. I would have done that today, but I don't wanna be too matte. I will do it in a different video. Comment and let me know if you wanna see it. And that will really make you look matte. And it really does control the oil. So this brush didn't have anything extra on it. I'm taking the first swipe that was on this cheek and then taking it all over the face, obvi. You know what I have not done in the longest time is a cut crease. So should I do one today? But I, I still do like a like a, a bold look, but I also really love <laughs> the soft glam look too. I can't lie, am I, am I being influenced? Like, what does this mean? <laughs> What does it mean? Someone tell me. Now Sephora has given the girls a new concealer, the best skin ever one. I don't have it. In fact, I'm gonna stop by Sephora today and get it. For now, I'm gonna use this, uh, and I do like it, this Jaclyn Cosmetics concealer, and the color is Deep Neutral. I do this one first because it is not that light. It's still good. You might look at this and be like, uh, it's light, what's the issue? But I like it to be lighter. But let me show you what it looks like without me blending it with a lighter color. Of course, I dip in my sponge. If you are unclear on how to figure out whether or not your sponge is damp or is it soaked or is it dry or what should you do and all of that, make sure you watch my video <laughs> that I did on this, okay? Linking all products below. I like to start toward the outer part of the face and I'm going in a circular motion 
lotion because I want it to blend and diffuse without any what? Lines of demarcation. If you've been here, you already know what it is, honey. And then as I get to the outer part, turning it over to a clean side and then blending the what? Lines to avoid any demarcation, okay? We don't want there to be too much of a differentiation between my skin, well, the foundation of my skin, and then the actual concealer. I mean, look at how that has been diffused. You know what, now that I'm looking at this and the shade of my foundation, I may just leave it. You know, like I've talked about in several videos, the shade of your foundation will change the way that your concealer looks on you if you keep that color the same. I don't know if that made sense. If you've been here, you know what I'm talking about, okay? We do discuss this kind of thing. Pinching this and going right on the side of the nose, avoiding the middle of the nose because I'm gonna go highlight and then I'm going to contour that too. You know, I'm actually liking it this way. I'm not gonna highlight more. I like it. I think I have more here. No, I'm not, I think, I know. So taking some more on this side, we are gonna come back to that. I, <laughs> I just like you, <laughs> watch a lot of YouTube videos and I don't need anyone to teach me anything. So when I watch, I'm not looking to learn technique, I'm just looking to be entertained. It's television for God's sake, right? When it comes to my platform, I recognize that many of you are here to learn and be entertained. So when I'm doing my videos and I'm very chatty about my process, which right now we are highlighting under the cheek, this is an advanced process. If you are still new trying to figure this out, you may wanna skip it or you might wanna venture out and then try it. It really is a nice way to amplify the cheekbone and we're gonna contour that area too. I knew intuitively and of course through your comments that continuing to explain is still very helpful to you because I watch a lot of videos and there isn't a lot of explanation as to what they're doing. It's more discussing the product. And I like to remind myself to do both because I know that all y'all are not advanced at this. I'm sure there's a mix, but you're still here to learn. So I appreciate the comments. I'm not kidding. It helps to guide my decision making. You know what I'm saying? To better serve because that is important. This is looking beautiful. I have not used this concealer in quite a minute. Now, what I have not tried in a while and I meant to try a while Ago. This is a lot going on. Is this LYS contour stick, honey? Is that what it's called? Oh, so this is the same color as the one I have in the bathroom. No limits worthy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Have you tried this? You have to comment and let me know. Ah, I love this whole triangular formation. Uh, okay, let's draw. Ooh. Ooh, this is creamy. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I think I took too much. Is it gonna replace my love and affection for KBZ Vegan Beauty Apple Bomb Good Good Lady Apple Bomb 098? <laughs> Sephora 56 brush, praise God. I hate that I waited so long to use this and I took too much. <sighs> Ooh, I took too much. Okay, 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 wiping. This this has taken a very different turn. Jesus, Lamb of God. Oh! <laughs> I'm ferociously cleaning my brush to now blend as opposed to add any more pigmentation. This is great. This was totally a user error. I underestimated how spicy this would be. Are we getting, are we, are we making progress? What are you thinking about this? Comment and let me know. I do believe that this is great. It's very stark, but you already know the powder foundation does bring it together or whatever. Taking some on this old brush, just a brush that has this angle will do. Narrow, fluffy. So here we are gonna contour the nose. I went very light and I even dabbed it onto my paper towel in front of me, which always exists in front of me. So we're going very soft with this. Now I'm gonna add some more dabbing again because the pigment, look, look, look. <laughs> Oh, wow. I mean, you know what though? Oh, this is looking good. Cause even the Worthy Deep Powder is phenomenal. We're doing this very softly. Killing me softly with his song. Telling my whole life with his words. Killing me softly. Here's the mic. Your turn. I just love a good breakout into song. Only the best, you know, only the best can do that. Back of the sponge doesn't have anything on it or doesn't have much on it, turning it over. And now we are blending the area between the highlight and the contour, gonna turn it again, right? Cause I don't want to now bring the contour onto the highlight and, and vice versa, okay? Turning it that way. And look at this masterpiece. 
you know, I still have not gotten over my love for the Say situation, the Radiant Loose Setting Powder Air Set, that one. I do still love it, but let's just stick with the Laura Mercier, you know, since we're here because that's also a really good tube. Gonna make sure that right under here in my <laughs> wrinkles, which is natural, that the concealer has not set in there, okay? And then gonna press into here which is the powder, the setting powder. And then I pressed on the back of my hand and now onto my face to take off some of the product so that it's not too much, you feel me? Mm -mm -mm. It's looking good, what you think? <laughs> what you think, comment and let me know. I'm gonna further contour my nose because I want it a little bit darker, but I was trying to go easy with the, the cream because I didn't know what it was gonna do. Now this part right here, I'm blending onto my hand again to d take some off to go under my cheek. When you do a lot or when I've done a lot over here, it makes this area real <laughs> It's already pronounced. I was gonna say it makes the area real pronounced. Uh, ma'am, it's already pronounced. Praise the Lord, okay? And I be seeing people leave this. No, ma'am, mm-mm. Now the contour is looking like it went away, <laughs> you know? So let's see, right here, I've got this house lapse. I've used it before. You've seen it in a different video. And the color Deep Level 12. <laughs> Sephora 59 Pop Pro Powder Brush. Mm -hmm. This is, we already said that this was dark. Look at that. Now the bronzer did have a little bit of warmth to it, which I liked. This is neutral. So it's going to change the tone of the contour, but that's okay. I mean, it's not like a terrible thing. Going underneath, just a little. I don't have a lot of product down here in, in the first place, but just a little something. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation, the color Rich 610C, to bring all of this together. If you're wondering why I'm using the face powder, make sure you watch my video on face powders to explain why I'm doing that. But just look at it. To me, it really brought everything together. I'm looking very matte today, and I'm not really seeing my contour like I need. Okay, so it's been a while since I've used my Rare Beauty Luminizer because I have a different product in the bathroom, but I still do like it. And we're gonna use that today. I'm gonna go gentle with this. It's been a while. <laughs> Let's not do too much. I use the color Flaunt, as you know. The rounded part of this sponge is what I'm gonna use. Pound it a few times to really get it to absorb into the sponge and before it dries let's get this spread onto both sides of the cheek and even down the middle of the nose and above the lip get some more and do that so here's a new blush from huda beauty and the cover is just so cute love fest huda beauty this is the color burning cherry okay this is still damp i'm just gonna sponge it onto my paper towel a few times to really make sure that stuff is, <laughs> the majority of stuff is off. And then let's use this one. Wow, Burning Cherry. It's looking frosty, but is it giving the pigment? Does it have gold in it? I was hoping for just straight up red-ish color. So these are limited edition shades and collector's edition packaging. They're two cream, uh, those are the, the two cream blushes. They give you a glowy yet pigmented balmy texture. Yeah, so it is supposed to glow like that. Lovely. If you want to glow, this is definitely for you. I, because my face is so matte today, wanted not to glow. <laughs> but this is pretty though. Look at how it's looking on my cheeks. It's looking very wet. What do you think? Come on, let me know. This is pretty. No, it's it's giving the pigmentation, honey. And when you put it in an, uh, an area where it's a little bit above the cheek, almost blending into your highlight, it looks so natural, effortless, and really pretty. Now, I feel like I need to bring this together a little better because you're seeing contour underneath and you're seeing blush right here. It's not blending for me. And that's why I wanted a matte blush to do that for me. So let's fix this. All right, I'm gonna use this Benefit Cosmetics Java blush, okay? This I'm gonna use with a powder brush because it's a powder blush. I'm basically wanting something that looks like a bronzer, but not a shadow. I know you get it. At least I hope you do. That's what I was hoping for this, but it actually is giving straight up blush, which is not fixing it the way that I was hoping. <laughs> I feel like we're making a painting, all the different products that I'm using, but I'm walking you through to see how I fixed them up, okay? So this is again the 59 brush from Sephora. This is the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation, the color Rich 660N. You can minus and subtract all of these different things that I'm doing based on how you want your face to look. So right here, 
is where I need it to be a little dark and then see how we're leaving this front area for the color to remain. It just needs to ombre, it just needs to flow. The real test is what does this look like outside? <laughs> I'm gonna leave this alone because I'm doing too much, okay? We're gonna do brows, Charlotte Tilbury, brow cheat. You know, I love this one. It just gets the job done. I would love to find a drugstore dupe for this. <laughs> I mean, I buy these so much. I'm like, okay, is there a drugstore dupe? I mean, you know, I'm fine either way. If I love what I love, I'll pay for it. But I feel like there's one by, is it NYX? I don't know. I've seen one that people talk about a lot. I just need to try it. It's just, yo, with brows being such a sensitive topic. Yes, I'm microbladed. This is my makeup brow. Watch my microblading video for explanation. Brows are just such a sensitive topic that, yo, man, I don't have time for my brows to be looking dumb, especially when I'm at this point to do my actual brows and then the product I have is not gonna be great. It annoys me. I don't, you don't, you're not gonna see me try out too many brow pencils because of that reason. So the consistency matters. It needs to be dry. It can't be a shiny brow product. And then the shade, it needs to be this, which is natural black because I like it to be dark. I mean, you know, once I find that, I don't be wanting to try different brow products, honey. The brows are important, okay? <laughs> All right, now to the eye look. We're gonna use this Love Fest Huda Beauty palette. This is a Love Fest Obsessions eyeshadow palette. What I like about this already is that it's got great colors in here for my crease and the con, oof, just looks good. So I'm starting off with this color right here at the top middle. It's giving me that orange that I love. Ooh, yes, honey, right here. Oh, this pigment is on fire. Tapping off the excess always. This is an old brush from Thrive Cosmetics, but if you do want an affordable brush set that will get you the same type of quality results, look at my Amazon brush set video. I've done two. Look at the most recent one. That brush set is really good. This is giving me that fiery sunset look in my crease that I love. Just close your eyes, point the brush right here between the brow bone and your eyeball, and that is your crease area. No matter how small or large your eyelid space is, that is your crease area. I love to bring it right here into the front, connecting to the front top of the brow. I don't like there to be any space. The only space that I like is right here in that brow bone. And now with the brown on top of this fiery color, I'm going to deepen, ooh, wow, the pigment is insane. It's getting me where I gotta go real fast to just deepen this crease out. Helps to open up the eyes. Wow, this is getting me where I gotta go fast. Already, I love this. I mean, you already know how much I love the, what's the other one? Is it Topaz Obsessions? Yeah, this was Love Fest Obsessions. So I'm liking this one too, what? I'm gonna come back to the crease in a sec. I'm trying to think about what I wanna do with my eyelid. I wanna open it with a bright color, but then I wanna use these frosty colors. I don't know. So many options. I'm gonna do a halo eye because everyone loves a good halo eye. So I'm gonna take this orange onto the side and side again. Then we're going to put the brown there as well. So same thing that we did in the crease, we're gonna do here. It makes a difference to put the orange down first. Then that brown. So right in the middle, I'm gonna choose from any of these. These are pressed glitters right here. Ooh, those look so good. I'm gonna start off with this swirl. I'm gonna start off with that. That was this one right here. That'll be the base. It's too dark of a purple for me. So now I'm gonna skip the middle glitter and go right to that light one. I want this to be lighter. So I'm gonna skip this one right here and go right to here.
Okay, KK, okay, okay. the back of my hand is painted with all kinds of colors, but we finally finished this look and you saw how I got to this point. Definitely some products here that I love and I'm gonna continue to use. So that's always a good thing. I hope that this video was informative for you because of course explaining everything is really, really important to me. Let's not forget that we do need to put on our fragrance, okay? Today's fragrance, and this is gonna be a, a first sniff for me, is Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry. Have never smelled this before. It was sent as a gift, so thank you to Kaoli. And I hear that it's a dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Never smelled that, don't have it, so I wouldn't know. But let me spray the box first. I think I'm gonna love it. I think I'm gonna love it. Oh yeah! Oh, this is lovely. Look at me, I'm a drench. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drench myself, okay? Girl, spray everything. Spray all your legs, everything, everything. Oh, I can smell the cherry, let's see. Let's go over the notes. Burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, gua, gua. Ooh. <laughs> I can't say this word, wood and patchouli, look. Ooh, I do smell the wood. It's sweet wood. Girl, this is good. Link in it below, as always, glad you're here. Glad you watched my videos. If you smelled that, let me know. If you have tried any of the products that I used today, I want you to comment, let me know as well. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.